Hello everyone and welcome to your second royal reading of this Saturday afternoon here at Mad World Tarot. And uh, Fluffy is crunching her way through her kibble as I start this reading. So if you hear strange annoying sounds in the background or crunching, it's not me, it's Fluffy. We have the Nightmare Before Christmas tarot on the tarot table. For this one, I'm using my novelty tarot decks today because I feel like it. And uh, I would love to have some of the wonderful decks that are on Etsy. Uh, unfortunately, I was looking at new tarot decks need to upgrade. And uh, there are some wonderful ones on Etsy, but getting them to South Africa is almost impossible. Our postal system has collapsed and enormous import duties. So it's just window shopping on Etsy for me, unfortunately. And uh, so we'll have to stick with the tried and tested Nightmare Before Christmas tarot in this case. And the reason we're using this tarot deck is because we're looking at the Parkle Christmas card, except it wasn't a Christmas card. It's a holiday card. They can't actually bring themselves to say Happy Christmas in case they offend someone. Isn't that interesting? Can offend the people who celebrate Christmas, but not anyone else. That is the world we live in. So there was the card, but no children on the card. And it looked like a screen grab from YouTube. And uh, so of course, everybody is saying, where are the kids? Where are the kids? Where are the kids? We have to rewind a little bit. We have to go back to a rumor that was circulating a week or so ago. And it was to the effect that there were going to be two Lilibets on the Christmas card. Baby Lilibet with granny or great granny. And uh, then we heard the next rumor that there were crisis meetings at William Morris Endeavor about the Christmas card and about the fact that Megan wanted, this is the rumor, I'm not saying it's true, about the fact allegedly that Megan wanted to use a private family photograph of the two Lilibets or even some people speculate a photoshopped photo of the two, speculating rumor, wild rumors, gossip, and William Morris Agency said, don't you dare. And then we heard another rumor that William Morris Endeavor has fired Meghan Markle. And then we got this screen grab from YouTube as the Parkle holiday card with just Harry and Meghan. They don't seem able to be in the same place, all four of them, to pose for a Christmas pick, which could be done, I don't know, five minutes? So that's where we are. And that's why we have the Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck on the tarot table. We're going to look at all of this. We're going to ask why they couldn't come up with a family photo. We're going to ask how the marriage is. Where are the children? Why not on the photo? Some people say it's because Megan is ashamed of her children, of the way they look. So we're going to ask Tarot about that. Is it because uh, she needs to monetize them? Is it because Harry said, no, you're not going to exploit them? Is it because he's ashamed of them? What? Why? We keep trying to find out the answer to that question. I think a valid question. They are prince and princess, so, you know, unless they're locked in a tower somewhere, uh, surely the public should see them from time to time. And then we're going to ask, what else are we going to ask? We're going to ask about the two lily bits. How could I forget? I have to look at my cheat sheet here, my scribbles. The two lily bits, did she really want to do that? And did William Morris endeavor really say, absolutely not, that was private. There was an agreement to do that. You can't do that. There will be big trouble, all that kind of thing. And then outcome, how does she feel, she in particular, about the fact that the only response from the public is, where are the kids? and not oh she looks so lovely in that green cutout dress that tablecloth dress and um so where are the kids and has she been fired by her agency i have done readings on it recently and it does look as if it's possible that the relationship is over if not in name then in feeling so we're going to look at that so that's where we are, that's what's going on. We of course know the drill that this is tarot, just for fun and entertainment. It's all my opinion, it's all speculation. Just read energy and disclaimer in the box. 
below there are the cards underlying energy is the queen of presence that is the queen of pentacles that's the wife this one's wife harry's wife as she's known in certain quarters um trying to portray herself as look at me i'm the devoted wife here with my husband at his wonderful charitable event for invictus games um, aren't I beautiful? Aren't I supportive? Aren't I stable and solid and just perfect in every way? All about me. Okay, I think we got the message there with the Queen of Presence. How about it's not all about my children? Let me remind you, it's all about me. Interesting. Uh, how about uh, my eyes distracted by this card that's the next card and you all know where i'm going with that card with the candle just a happy a fond memory of a a funeral if you can have a fond memory of a funeral there it is with the candle let's move uh, back to this reading and let's look at the actual situation we're dealing with with this not christmas card the mismas card i'm calling it we have himself the husband the king of presents in reverse which tells me he was not going to play along with this. Not interested. I have seen that energy coming out very often in recent readings. It's literally a Harry card, earth sign, king of presents. He's in reverse there. There's the matching pair. She's there. Look at me. Aren't I wonderful? Aren't I beautiful? Aren't I just perfect in every way? I'm more Catherine than Catherine. He was the true queen of presents, actually, earth sign. There he is, not interested, not playing ball. I'm not going to be juggling outside any windows for you. Fill in your own abusive term. Uh, mine starts with a B. And there you are. Uh, that's just a little scenario that's going on in my mind. Sheer imagination. It's just all pretend. It's just all speculation, of course. And so let's look. Why no happy family? shot and i think we know with the king of presents why fighting five of candles big fighting going on look uh in this card the wicked witch is trying to strangle this sort of i don't know what that creature is imp maybe while it while a tiny um it almost looks like a, a fake um child because it's it's it looks like it's got stitching and stuffing coming out of it that's just the way i'm reading the card watches on in horror um, so there's, there's fighting, fighting in a family, classic five of wands, five of candles, sorry. That's what the five of candles is all about. Fight, 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 and uh, squabbling. So we can't show that, can we? We can't uh, oh, suddenly smile when you've been uh, trying to throttle someone just before. It's difficult to suddenly change, even if you're an acclaimed actress as she is. Um, I can't say award winning because hasn't won any awards that she hasn't bought Oh, the snark today. Um, so that's what's going on. Tell us the state of the marriage, please. And we have the eight of candles in reverse. Bad news blocked. Blocked progress, the eight of candles. Not speaking to each other even with that. I'm guessing that Scooby-Doo's book might have been in game for the marriage. Inadvertently. And... Uh, that it might have dawned on the has-been that even though he's won this tremendous victory uh, against the British media and he's now trying to set the British police on to the British media in his fiery statement that Big Hair Lawyer made after the, court, the case, I'm speculating that it has dawned on him to a certain degree, a modest degree to quote the judge in fact in the case, that Scooby-Doo's book wasn't such a clever idea after all and who would have been behind Scooby's book? We speculate. Megan. No speaks. Eight of candles in reverse. Tell us about the children. Why no children? We're going to have two cards for this. Why no children on the card? The world. That is because something has ended. We could say the marriage has ended. The world. It's also a travel card. It's a journeying card. They might be elsewhere. Quite literally, they might be somewhere far, far away. That would make it difficult 
for even a photographer of Nissan Harriman's tremendous photoshopping skills to manage to um, cobble them all together in some sort of thing that uh, might pass muster. And I did make a gaffe and say that the, the whales photo, they are all the parts were there, the hands and fingers and all that, but no, they weren't. So even when they're all in one room, you can still chop off a finger here and a foot there, apparently. It's remarkable. Um, so mm, all over, tell us more. Tell us more, please. I decided to give two cards for this. Tell us reasons. Give us good reasons. Ooh, we get the same story. I'm getting all excited now. Nervous flutter. Good energy. The lovers in reverse. A breakup. A breakup. Look at those lovers. Aren't they cute? But in reverse. Splits full. So it's not about being ashamed. It's not about trying to monetize. It's not about those things. It's not about, you know, having to fetch them out of a box in the attic as some people speculate. Going to giggle. It's about divorce, separation, the end of the marriage. We'll have to look at this. My, my, very emphatic. Uh, we have uh, the only card that doesn't tell me the marriage is over is this underlying energy, this look at me, I'm perfect. Here we have has been, I'm out, king of presence in reverse, state of the year, uh, why, why not a family photo with fighting, five of candles, how's the marriage, eight of candles, no speaks, why no kids, the world, it's finished, gone, they might even have been swept away somewhere safe, overseas. And uh, tell us more. The lovers in reverse. Break up. I might have to have a little cry out of one eye. And uh, so, tell us about the tale of the two lilibets. Is it true that Megan was intending to do this? Lilibet and lilibet. And leave everyone else out. We have the ten of needles in reverse. It does look as if... Some calamity was uh, averted with the Ten of Needles in reverse. If she had done this, it would have been a calamity beyond Ten of Needles. Ruin. It would have been the end of her private family photo. Do that, you're out. That would have been off with her head, metaphorically. Off with your title. No more Duchess. No Princess Henry. Um, no more... Um, bath mats and doormats and things with that nasty insignia thing that she's imagined and um, no more duchess of anything averted ten of needles in reverse so was this a crisis meeting was this the agency that said oh no you don't and we got the temperance card in reverse i think so because it's patience and moderation and balance and harmony when it's upright in reverse losing your rag temperance card in reverse you get fed up if you had enough they've been through the whole drama with the end game book nonsense comes this outlandish outrageous it's not outlandish it's outrageous idea oh i'm going to have lily bet and lily bet on my christmas card from archie well happy holidays uh vote for us send us money now urgent need um self-sealing envelope enclosed temperance card in reverse somebody lost their rag so outcome and uh whew, i have to catch my breath here i'm all uh, all overcome um, the outcome, first outcome is how does look at me feel about the fact that the only thing people are saying about this holiday card is that there are no kids. How does she feel about that? Night of presence, Harry's fault. Harry's fault. It's all about him uh, not about her. Not worried about it. Not worried about it. Blame Harry. Uh, interesting that uh, let's have a look at what this knight of presence is clutching there it looks almost bookish I don't think it is a book but you could imagine it's a book writing on a clipboard 
the more, you know, if this one gets a present and that one doesn't at Santa's factory in the North Pole. Uh, you can see I'm a bit I'm rusty on that story. Um, it's uh, taking notes for her memoir that I'm sure is about to burst upon us. Blame Harry. Oh, Harry's fault. Harry wouldn't play along. He would never pose. He was never there. He was a dead drunk, uh, unconscious on the bathroom floor, as particularly portrayed um, in The Crown. And a useless father, useless parent, useless husband. See, I'm writing it all in my book. I'm speculating, of course, and I'm doing it for fun and entertainment because this is just terror. How about William Morris and Deva? Have they given her the heave-ho, finally? Is it over? Strength card in reverse. I think it is. That's a Leo card. That is courage. Uh, even though he's got an axe in his head. So we, we'll put it down in case the machine doesn't like to see that. It doesn't seem to mind violence. It does mind other things. Um, but violence seems quite cool with that, which is interesting. Um, nudity, not so much. Um, so, strength card in reverse, I think that they have got rid of the Leo. Uh, strength card for me is often a partnership. It's not technically meant to be read like that. But in these royal readings, it's acquired that kind of meaning for me. A couple who are, uh, it doesn't have to be a romantic couple, but people who are uh, bound together in some enterprise that requires courage and girding your loins and off you go uh, boosting each other bolstering each other when it's upright can be codependent when it's in reverse it's kind of yeah we're done yeah we were trying to shore you up we were trying to strengthen you uh, stand by your side but we're done I do think so it's a big card it's a big card to come out in reverse. It's a big card that really means the Leo in the reading. So, interesting times, I think, behind the scenes of that strange screen grab holiday card that suddenly appeared out of literally nowhere. And uh, that is your reading, and thank you for watching. And, of course, always disclaimer in the box below, and I will see you all again tomorrow.